So I'm not the only one predicting a big crash here. Jeremy Grantham, he only comes out once in a blue moon when he sees something big happening, particularly on the downside. He's been warning the last few months. He's been a little early too, you know, this bubble keeps being pushed, but he's saying we're getting very near and he's saying 50% crash. Well, for me, if we're talking about the crash of a lifetime, which both of us are here, it's gotta be more. Uh, the 7374 crash, and when we weren't in a bubble, uh, was 50% the S&P 500. The first bubble in this whole scenario, peaking you know, in 2000 with the, with the NASDAQ was down 78% and, and the S&P 500 was down uh, 56%. So what is my prediction here? 86% crash. Now that's just my best projection, but it's coming from a hundred year channel in the S&P 500. Peak at 48.19 here recently, down to the bottom trend line, which would be the same bottom trend line that 1932 hit, 670. That's how I get uh, 8%. Now, what has to happen first, and what I've been looking for, uh, because it's so important, the first crash. And remember, I've reminded subscribers and, and our followers so many times, half or more of a major bubble like this will happen in the first two to three months. The average is 41% crash in 2.6 months. Well, this one is shaping up to be bigger. Fundamentally, why? They have stretched this bubble way longer. This, this second bubble burst should have been late 2019, early 2020, into late 2022 of my best cycles for the long-term bottom. I mean, with late 2022 be the biggest cycle bottom of our lifetimes, even bigger than 82, okay? So that's what it should be. Well, they push this up. So we're gonna have to go down faster, harder, and we, we're likely to bleed into late 2023 or something like that. But I do think most of this bubble is going to happen this year if we did peak. And that's what it's, we've had this succession of tops I've covered in the past. The S&P was the final top on January 4th. And that means this first crash should go into about mid to late March. That kind of like 2.3 to 2.6 months or so, okay? And again, megaphone pattern I have says it could be 58%. The target on that, is 2000 the S&P 500. This would be the biggest first crash in history, but that would not surprise me one bit the way they've stretched this bubble. So where are we? We're well into it. This is looking like the first crash now. We broke 2100. That was my line in the sand on the Russell 2000. Many bottoms there over the last year plus. The S&P 500 channel broke at 4,600, and we're well below that now. Bitcoin is now down 50%. The Russell 2000, the, the, the leading sector of stocks, the small caps, down 20%. The NASDAQ tech stocks down 15 and the S&P down the least at 10%. So we have a long way to go here. We may even get a little bounce here with this recent sell-off. Uh, things are a little oversold, but a lot of people saying, oh, this is the bottom, this is a buying opportunity. I say no. This is not another correction. This is very, very likely the top of our lifetime and the first crash now could be as much as percent. So get ready, folks. Do not tally on this. Um, I will keep people updated, my subscribers. Uh, we have, I have a lot of updates recently in such a critical time, but, and I will let people know if it doesn't look like this is a top, but it is looking like a top and this first crash is, it will happen faster than anybody is forecasting, anybody expects. Again, we could be down as much as 58%, 2,000 on the S&P 500 by the end of March. So again, take this seriously. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. 
Fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.